Hello, welcome to Rafael Technologies again. In this session, we will see how to perform insert, update, delete, and display the all the list of records into data git p control by using on this Windows Chrome application from our WCF service. First, let me click the um, the SQL Management Studio. The table I already created. This is the table already created. This is the record I have already. Now let me just open the WCF service is running in my machine. And here is the um, here is the name of the interface. Here is the operation contract and the, the method type is void. I just named choosing a name is update registration table. In here we are just passing the class. Name of the class is create admin. Then we want to passing the parameters is create admin as well. Let me just pick, I mean, go to the definition of this class. As you can see, this class has several properties, like we have the last video session class as well. The types is integer types, and username is string, username and string is password as well. We are using the data contract where the data should be contracted, and we are using the data member by um, where the data member is located. And finally, we are using the get and setup property to initializing the value for the user ID, username, and password, right? And 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 uh, the method type I, I explained to you. This is the void type. It will not return anything. Let me just go to the implementation or implementation of this method. Here you go. In this method, again, we have the same idea. We type is void is the name of the method, and we are passing the name of the class is create admin. Uh, just name choosing a parameter is create admin as well. Then we are creating the SQL connection. In this SQL connection, we are passing the connection string, whatever we mentioned in our app.config file. Then we are opening the connection. Then we are creating the SQL command as well. In here, we are just what you are saying. Update the TBL. Uh, managing director table and set the username whatever the username is coming from the parameters what the password what the user id equal to at user id then we are associating all the parameters coming from this uh, from these classes and then we are just creating the execute non scalar and non query method then we are closing the connection right then we are just i mean running our wcf service into uh, console based application if you want to host in is you can host in is as well let me just um, uh, open the program file course then we are just um, i'm saying using the system that service model then we are just giving the name of the service host and types is and giving a name is host then you're creating the new service host and type is the name of the project and name of the interface right no sorry name of this name is space as well then we are opening the host and then we are just writing into our console window the host is host is started and date, date and time the current date and time then we're just passing the console read line to make sure the host is running into our console based application and not to close so at this point let me just i mean start the host to run the WCF service, as you can see, the host is started. Let me just open the Microsoft Visual Studio instance, another one. And here, what I did, I just drag and drop the grid view control, the buttons, and text box, and the label control. In here, what I did, look, in this button, I am just using a method is called show data right look what i uh, i'm doing in the show data method let me show you in this show data method in method we are just creating remember we added the reference in our uh, reference uh, in our um, service reference um, file name is my service in this my service we have the i company confidential service client then we are just giving the name of this service then we are creating new the new instance of this UN. In here, we are not passing any binding. Uh, in last video session tutorial, we mentioned what sort of binding should be used here. Then we are just using passing, creating the new data set. 
In this new, new data set, we are just passing at the object of the my uh, company confidential service client. Then we are just using the select user details. You know, we, um, we have defined a method is called select user define uh, user details into a WCF service. Just let me show you uh, where this service, I mean, I'll show you where this method is um, running. Okay, after that, we are just saying the grid view control data source equal to ds remember this is the ds of the data source equal to the data table from the first value okay in this grid bit uh, to <coughs> control property then we have auto uh, uh, resize columns with this resize columns method we are passing the cell all the cells are present into our data git view control auto site model so this is the old show data method okay then as i told you that when you click the submit i mean the show button we expect to all the data should be shown into our grid view control right then let me click the add button in here we have the same thing we are i mean creating the uh, my company confidential service instance then we are just are creating the class is present into our service and uh, then we are i mean invoking with this with this class the username and the password the username is coming from text box six the password is coming from text box five then we are just remember in this in this service we have uh, the method called names add admin then we are passing to the object you know this is the object that would the class object into this method then again we are just showing um, calling the show data method make sure that we have we can see the record is i uh, mean <clears throat> uh, entered successfully then we can i mean see the data into our review control okay then we have the delete in this the same idea that we are creating the car class and the the uh, the, uh, the service as well with the service with the creating the car create admin class then if the data grid view control row counts equal to greater than one that means we selected one cell into our grid view control then we are creating the data table then with this um with this service we have uh, the name uh, we have the properties called user id we are converting i mean the uh, converting this to into our self i mean um, whatever the value is coming from this user id we are just selecting the row into our data grid view control and we're just converting into the integer by using type casting then we are just using the delete method um, into it from our WCF service to perform a delete operation. Then we are using the show method. Okay. Then we have the edit button. Then in here we're just saying the grid view two source control the cell row index, the text box six and the cells whatever the value is coming from cell plus six one and cells two. We have multiple I mean the tables for uh, and record like extended big table but make sure you have defined all the cells in here by one two three four like that okay you see this is the button just cast the uh, the record in uh, into our text box control in four uh, five and six okay then uh, we just have an update button in this update button the same idea we are just creating the class and on the service as well then in our last video i mean last code we have seen how to convert the integer id convert into the integer type by you by selecting the current cell property then we are just uh, i mean retrieving the text box uh, and the username and password from the text box then we are just using the registered update uh, a method to update the data then we are just using the show data so this is the only one method I explained in my WCF service. If you understand this properly, then rest of the method is same idea, right? It's the same idea to the rest of the method as well. So at this point, um, at this uh, in this next video uh, video session, I will be explaining the rest of the method I created in my WCF service. But thank you for watching. See you in next video tutorial.